Two men have been charged in connection with the death of a seven-year-old boy and a 48-year-old woman. The two victims died when the boat they were on with several of the other family members capsized in the Hudson River back in July of 2022. CBS 2's Zania Maldonado joins us live from the U.S. District Court with the latest following today's arraignment. Zania. Well, Dick and Jessica, both men were arrested around 6 a.m. this morning over in Elizabeth, New Jersey. Just a short time ago, they stood before a judge here at court to face charges in connection with the death of those two victims you mentioned nearly two years after this incident took place on the Hudson. Jaime Benia Gomez and Richard Cruz, both of Elizabeth, New Jersey, are now facing federal charges in connection with the death of seven-year-old Julian Vasquez and 48-year-old Lindelia Vasquez. The two drowned back in July of 2022 after becoming trapped underneath a vessel that capsized along the Hudson River. Several others on board were also injured. Officials say 32-year-old Cruz was the owner and captain of the vessel, while 25-year-old Gomez was the pilot. The formal complaint states Cruz and Gomez conducted boat tours for paying customers on board the vessel, although they did not have the required United States Coast Guard credentials and certifications to do so. Cruz and Gomez operated the vessel's stimulus money with 13 people on board, exceeding the vessel's maximum allowable capacity. They also operated stimulus money at a high rate of speed during a small craft advisory in high winds and heavy seas. The pair are each charged with one count of misconduct and neglect of a ship officer resulting in death. Video from the 2022 incident shows the jet-powered boat navigating the choppy waters of the Hudson River on a windy afternoon with no other boats nearby. U.S. Attorney Damian Williams stating in part Thursday, federal regulations and safety protocols exist to ensure that captains and operators of commercial vessels keep passengers safe. The defendants allegedly flouted those regulations, recklessly disregarded safety protocols, operated the vessel at an unsafe speed in hazardous conditions, and overloaded the vessel with too many passengers on board. And the result was tragic. <clears throat> If found guilty, both Gomez and Cruz could face up to 10 years in prison. The pair was released on bond this afternoon and are due back in court on April 5th. We're live from Lower Manhattan, Zinnia Maldonado, CBS 2 News. All right, Zinnia, thank you.